Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to sixth video of Cucumber. In this video, we are going to learn about the um, scenario outlines with example. Let's get started now. What we are going to do today is basically like the same login script, but we are going to log in with two different users and we'll write the verification step for both the users. Apart from the login, I'm also going to show you like how to search for a book and how to uh, for example, let's say that we are going to search for roomies. So here we are getting the suggestion. We are going to click on that and we are going to click on that uh, button called add to cart. Once that is done, probably we can take this count and we can verify. Okay, the cucumber scenario is very small. Most of the time we are going to write the selenium code. But if you are a beginner, this will definitely help you. Okay, so the video might go a little long comparing to other videos, but watch it fully to understand okay and i will leave the timestamp in the description so you can just if you want to learn only the cucumber scenarios probably you can check that one okay so let's get started again so i'm going to create a new feature file today uh, let's go with the within the feature folders i'm going to copy paste the same feature file and i will name it like add to cart and within the add to cart i'm going to remove all these scenarios okay and the scenario name uh let's give the feature let the feature to be like same book cart application test and scenario with outline right so here i have to say like scenario outline and i'm going to give the name like add to cart okay so the first line is going to be very same uh, very same comparing to our previous scenario so i'm going to copy this given and paste over here and then forward by i'm going to say like and user login into the application with user name as some user name and followed by password as some password okay so we are going to give two parameterization concept that we learned in our previous video okay uh, then what we are going to do we are going to uh like we are going to uh, we are going to search for a uh, book right so we are going to say like uh, user search for a book some book name when user add the book to the cart then um this one right so cart uh what is this icon um this is badge i guess okay so then the cart badge should get updated okay that means like uh, if if i add any book like for example if i say like add to cart then here we can select we are getting like the one and two or something like that right so we have to verify that one okay so very simple stuff here so we'll just navigate to the application already we have that step so that is fine and then user is going to log in with this particular username and password and then followed by user is going to search for some book and it's going to be like your add to cart and then the cart batch should be updated okay now whenever there is a scenario outline that means of course we should write the examples or else we'll end up with an exception let me show you that i'm going to my runner file i'm going to make run try run as true and instead of login here i have to give like um add to cart dot feature file okay so i'm going to right click run as test ng test so this is going to give me uh, the exception as I said. Okay, so here you can select zero step, zero scenarios, everything is zero. And it doesn't say like we have anything. Okay, let's check the spell here. So add to cart, which is correct. The wrong here is basically whenever we write the scenario outline, we should have the examples. Okay, so for example, here I have to give the examples and then the test data. Okay, so how to write the test data is very simple. So for example, um, here we are going to give the username, right? So what I will do, I will just simply enclose that within the brackets and I'll say like name and here also the test data password. 
so here i will enclose within the brackets and we'll say like password or else we can just write like this so instead of saying like this like username and password which doesn't look good at all okay now this looks very readable right so the user logins into the application with username and password so what is this username and password we'll write that within the examples okay and here it's going to be some book search for a book right so we'll just uh, write it like this search for a book okay now let's go and give the uh, headers for the example so this is going to be my header so copy this and within the pipe symbols we have to write the example so one pipe symbol we'll give this again another pipe symbol where we'll give the password and followed by another pipe symbol where i'm going to specify the book okay so this is like your headers okay consider in your excel sheet if you remember the data provider concept within the excel, uh, excel sheet the first row is going to be my header and followed by like the second row third row it's going to be my actual test data right so here username is my column header password is also my column header book is also my column header now we have to write the headers within the pipe symbol so pipe symbol is basically lies on above the enter key okay and then we have to set the data so we'll use again the pipe symbol so first one is going to be like or tony and the password is going to be like pass one two three four and book name so we'll give some book name let's add this roomies okay and then followed by here let's give this like simple wild okay again another Tony kc so this is my second user kc is basically my second user the password is same actually but yeah you got the idea right this one okay now right click and do the pretty format it should be formatted so you can see like the good thing okay so scenario outline is basically works based on the examples so here user navigates to the application it's going to uh, log in with this particular username and password so if you see the difference in our previous video we have done the same thing but since we have hard coded the data here we have just given within the double quotes but when it comes to the scenario outlines this is going to be my parameter from the examples right so we have to write the username within the curly braces uh, not the curly braces the angular brackets the greater than and lesser than symbol so that it will consider like if you do some spelling mistake of course it won't work so whatever is there it should be here and both should be within the pipe symbol so this is my, like my header and this is my actual test data okay so how many test cases we have we have two test cases because line number 12 will run with this scenario and line number 13 will run again with this scenario that means like number of datas we have that many scenarios we have still it's a same scenario but based on the number of datas it is going to be like considered to be like two test cases okay so this is how we have to write the um, this feature file that's a very simple thing okay now let's go and do the uh, dry run let's check whether we are able to generate this time yes we are able to generate this one so here you can see like it says like um, lo user logins into application string and string so here you can see like we get string string two so two parameters two so obviously two things and you add to the cart user add the book to the cart do we have something like this yeah user search for a book which is going to be another string so here you can say like search for a book and user add the book to the cart and the cart badge, badge should update it okay so we got these snippets now let's go and copy if you see here on the first line it says like user navigates to the book cart application for that we are not getting any snippet because that is already there within my step definition of login steps so can i use it for another class yes we can use it i will show you in a moment okay so i'm going to create a new class here let's name it like add to cart and here i'm going to paste everything so let me go to my console i it's got cleared so i'll just run one more time 
okay got it let's copy and let's go back to the add to cart java file let's make it a good name so this is going to be my steps file so i'll make it like steps and paste over here Control a Control i to do the indentation it's not working because we have to give Control shift o to import and then Control a Control i to do the indentation okay so that's it very simple thing now the question is how we are going to manage the driver as well okay so here you can see like user navigates to the application and we got some driver here itself okay so from this class we cannot use the driver again in another class uh, we have another way to handle that um, so what we'll do as of now we'll just try to write from the beginning let's go to this class and here i'm going to call my web driver driver and then i'm going to remove all these comments so control c control h not control h control f i guess yeah and we'll just replace all with empty similarly we'll copy this control f replace with empty okay so that's it now we will write our code okay so what i'm going to do is um now already we have implemented I assume that we have implemented all these steps right now let's go back okay let's write write it from here itself okay so user is going to log in with the username um and password right so this is going to be my username and this is going to be my password okay so already we have the code for that so let's copy this one but before that i have to click on this login button so let me copy this guy and paste over here and this is for my username copy paste and this is for my password i can use the same steps as well but why i'm writing this function in the sense like this is my login test where i can just change the test data and i can check whether login functionality is working or not but when i say add to cart add a book to the cart or add to cart this is basically my uh, my precondition is just to log in with valid username and valid password or even without unauthenticated user call also can add the books to the cart right so this step is not required so here instead of calling the same steps we can just write another function which will just do the login itself okay okay now let's go so here this guy will do the login uh, we are not going to do the verify as of now so here we have to handle this search right so let's go and inspect this guy and here we have input let's go so here we have a tag called input here also we have css type equal to search so i'm going to use the send keys and okay what is the data we are going to pass this is going to be my book name so let's pass that within the book name okay so when we type something let's say that we are trying to something like room is we will get this suggestion here right so this guy which is within the mat options so here you can see like within the mat options we have this guy and then we have the css as well right which is next to it sorry it's span actually i'm searching okay so this is the span this is the first one right so i'm going to copy this one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to a driver dot find element by dot css which is this guy and i'm going to do the click out click option okay you can enhance this more by typing like get yeah, use the get text or use the find elements and you can do that i'll just leave that up to you so that's just another selenium concept okay yeah 
now uh, we'll get the search it is like i have clicked on this and here i can say like i have this add to cart button so i'm going to inspect this one and which has a like primary button equal to color i'm going to do the click action which is absolutely fine and then we have to verify the badge right so if i add to the cart you can see like it's getting so one thing we can verify is basically the toast message or the snack bar or else here you can see like we have a button and we have a span where that text is actually yeah so here you can select it has a id called um mat badge content of zero so i'm going to take this i'm going to get text and i'm going to assert that one okay so control to l uh, that will return me the text okay now i'm going to convert this into an integer and i'm going to once we add right so basically like if i go and remove this cart remove this okay now if i go to this let's add so initially it will be zero and if i add to a cart it will become like one right so it should be greater than zero right so what we can do is we can assert that like assert and here i'm going to say like integer dot pass int since it's a uh, string we have to convert that into a integer and then i can say like uh dot i'm getting all the playwright syntax like asset dot to be asset dot to contains yeah in playwright is easy okay what is the syntax i forgot do you have anything like to be greater than in asset i don't think so okay here um, not zero it should be greater than zero actually so what we can do is how to check that so here we have function like asset equal which will just so it should be like uh, boolean okay so what we can do is we can just remove this guy here Oh, okay i got it uh, so we can just say like uh come on to be greater than zero and here i can give it like true okay so th this is my expected okay expected is basically it should be um actual this is one okay actual should be like greater than zero and i'm checking true so this is if, if this is like if the data is same zero it will be false and we are expecting true so it will be fail okay so i hope you got this assertion sorry i took little bit playwright is very easy you have to just call the function like to be greater than something like that that's it finish okay so we have successfully implemented this step but i'm sure it will not work why in the sense like the login step since in another class where we are creating the driver instance and here we have another driver instance which will end up with a null pointer exception just in case if you want to confirm i can run and show you let me go and run this so the first one is like navigating to the application that worked fine and the second one got failed because we'll end up with a null pointer exception that is expected only i know that that is for sure so what we can do is Okay, as of now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from here and paste over here. It should work fine, but the problem is we'll end up with an exceptions like duplicate definition found. Let me show you that. Okay, so here you can select it didn't even execute it. And here if you go up, you can see like duplicate step definition exception um yeah so what is this means this is very common in cucumber you will see this in a lot of in lot of places 
so here we have this login user navigates to the book cart application and within another feature file also we have the same step when we write the same step in two different file feature file that is fine but when we do the mapping the same steps in two different classes it will say like duplicate definition found so it will not work okay so how to handle this kind of situation is very simple we can have a common class we can create the driver object there and we can use the driver object across all the places okay uh, we'll cover that maybe in upcoming videos so as of now i'm just going to comment which is there within the login page and i'm going to execute this runner file so that we'll be able to understand the scenario outlines with example concept now okay one got passed uh, another got failure awesome okay so two scenarios and there are two failed uh, 10 steps to fail okay what are the fail um, expected true but for not found but found false expected true but found false okay so something is wrong with our assertion maybe because yeah because something went wrong okay let's go and check this one more time i'm going to close all the other files and let's go to the add cart let me add the okay and here i'm going to say like driver dot quit which is fine now here this get text is not working i believe because when we click on the um this button right when we click on this it takes some time to get updated so here uh, what we have to do is we have to wait until the visibility of this particular text i guess but this is always visible so what we can do is we can uh, go and wait until this becomes appears and disappear okay but for now i'll just add a thread dot slip which is not good but yeah you just have to use the web driver that is what the requirement here is but fine i think for now at least for now maybe we can improve later okay let's go to the runner file and run this one more time let's see what exactly happening so add to cart and here you can see like one so this should be passed now i know that the sleep issue is there now it's going to add to cart one again and we got to pass Pakawa. okay so that's it we are pretty much done so you are able to understand how to run the same test scenario with the different data using the scenario outline with example if you have to do the same with test ng you might use the data provider if you want to go step ahead you will use the write your test data within the excel sheet and you will use apache poi to do that which is a lot of code whereas in cucumber it's really easy just call the scenario outline write it at example and make sure whenever you are passing some parameters that should be enclosed within the greater than and smaller smaller than symbols or the the cell bracket whatever you call it and in this video also we have faced a issue like duplicate step definition we learned how to solve it but how to solve in the java class for that we have the hook option we'll talk about that in our upcoming lectures so that's it for this video i hope you are able to understand this small concept in scenario outline with examples only the selenium code took much time so i believe you understood the concept okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or in our discord server bye bye take care